issued that second umbilical retracting. The booster is beginning to fire. We have preliminary booster ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Reed Wiseman, Max Sarayev, and Alexander Gerst, the international crew on their way to the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single core engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measuring 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Now just about one minute, 10 seconds into the flight of Soyuz TMA-13M, velocity of the vehicle at 1,100 miles per hour. All indications uh, good for the rocket as it continues, the first stage continuing to fire. Next major event will be the jettison of the escape tower at the very top of the rocket. And also be sure to watch uh, for the uh, boosters to uh, break off, indicating the end of the first stage. Getting confirmation, the first stage separation, you can see the four strap-on boosters now breaking away. They have been jettisoned, completing their job, and they'll drop away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz craft itself now traveling at about 3,350 miles per hour. Getting an indication the second stage performing as expected. And getting confirmation the launch shroud surrounding the Soyuz craft has been jettisoned. The rocket's altitude now at about 48 miles. A little over three minutes into launch now, the Soyuz craft traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. Three crew members giving the thumbs up inside, the core stage performing as expected. That core engine of the Soyuz 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine and four fuel chambers, providing between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude. It'll fire for about the total of three minutes and 28 seconds. The stage is gonna continue to burn until about the four minute, 43 second mark. Soyuz uses what's called a hot staging technique. So the third stage will ignite while the second stage is still burning. That's why the Soyuz has that small open area in between the second and third stages. Again, continuing to get uh, views inside the cabin. Again, keep your eye on the giraffe of hanging in the top left corner. Uh, the crew is always using a token uh, to sim signify uh, when the crew is in microgravity. So you'll see that float uh, at the end of today's flight. Continuing to get good reports. All systems reported as nominal, going as expected. And pretty soon coming up on second stage shutdown and third stage ignition.